Hello, darling. Do you have the time, please? It's Beer Monster O'Clock. Hello, guys. Hope you're all having a great day, as always. Um, I've got this one here for you today. I picked this up from Lidl's uh, for £1.49. It's the first one I've tried from Lidl's, or that I've reviewed anyway. <clears throat> and um, yeah, it says a uh, cold tan beer. Oh, actually, on that side it says cold jammy beer. Jammy beer. Sounds a bit mad, and I don't know if it's supposed to be like a jam donut or what. It says it's uh, Scotland born and brewed on the can. It says jammy fruity vanilla. So maybe it's supposed to be like a, uh, you know, like them frozen jam donuts you get with the cream in or something like that. I don't know. Uh, I think it's by the, yeah, the Queen of Puddings Brewery. Comes in at 5.3% ABV. That's 330 mil can. Uh, 1.75 UK units if you care about that sort of thing. And there you go. Uh, ingredients wise, uh, water, malted barley, oats, wheat, raspberry puree, lactose, hops, vanilla. And that's about it. Uh, let's give it a go, shall we? I'm not too sure what to think of this one, to be perfectly honest with you. Uh, right, let's have a little sniff of the rim first, shall we? Smells like, um, like a a tangy raspberry sort of smell. With a, a little bit of malt. It's quite a <coughs> subtle kind of aroma for me. Let's get in the glass. Let's get it in the glass, see what it looks like. It's not red. I was half expecting it to be red for some reason. There we go. She's all in. A little bit of a close up for you. Very clear, golden sort of colour. Uh, yeah, it's very, very golden. Almost looks like a lager. Uh, I would say carbonation levels on this are low to medium carbonated with sort of slow moving pace to the bubbles for me. Don't know if you can make that out on camera, but you can't say I didn't try, can you? Let's have another smell through the uh, glass, see if we get any different aroma. Not much. <laughs> Barely anything. Let's give it a try, shall we? Cheers, guys. It's not that bad. <laughs> not quite a nice silky mouthfeel to it. There's a bitterness in there. It's not that bad. That's my first impressions. Let's go again. There might be more to this. I'm not getting vanilla as such, but <clears throat> you can taste like the jam, like a jammy tart sort of flavour. But it's not that jammy at all, really. And there's a slight sort of hint of almost like an ice cream. Well, I guess that's coming from the lactose, like an ice creamy uh, vanilla and jam. And then there's a slight bitterness in the beer. The beer itself actually tastes like quite a good quality beer. Oh, my camera's uh, fucked up a bit there. Give me a sec, guys. Oh. Sorry about that, I need to get a new tripod. My, <laughs> my camera just went flying off it. <laughs> As I was saying, guys, it tastes like, uh, I keep needing to all of a sudden cut the videos. I didn't do it for like been about 100 videos now. It's like three in a week or so. Anyway, I do apologize. <laughs> As I said, underneath the sort of jammy, ice cream sort of taste. You can tell that it's quite a nice beer. And I think what they've done by adding the, the raspberry puree and the lactose and all that, it's all a little bit gimmicky. It's a bit of fun. It's not really necessary. It doesn't do anything to improve the taste of the beer for me. Let's go again.
nothing special. It's not terrible. I've got to drink it. Do you know what I mean? It's, uh, <laughs> I'm not going to waste it. Like it's, it's not horrible. I think maybe they should have pushed the the jammy taste a bit more of anything because it's just kind of pointless because it's barely jammy. It's barely vanilla-y. It's like, what was the point of even bothering sort of thing? I don't know. Yeah, it's not really for me, which is a shame because I mean, even the way it just sort of sticks to glass. Like, maybe that's just all the syrup or whatever they add to it that gave it that nice sort of silky feel. I don't know. Probably is to be fair, isn't it? Uh, one more go, I'll give it a rating out of 10. Four. Got to give it a four, guys. Um, <laughs> thanks for tuning in, guys. If you want to help me out, please smash the granny out of that like button. And uh, if you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing or check out my other videos if you like what you see. Subscribe, and if you have subscribed, hit the little bell button to get notified uh, when uh, the Beer Monster releases a new video. And um, take care, guys. Bye bye, darlings. <laughs>